someone to tell your secrets to. If that person says the wrong thing, try someone else and assume. This will get easier, and your story will become more organized and understandable with every telling. It will probably become shorter as well. Even and especially if you were not taken good care of as a child, take good care of yourself as an adult. Find a physician and get a physical once a year. Tell him or her that you have a history of childhood adversity, because he or she will not know it just by looking at you. Sleep eight hours a night, eat well, play well, exercise well, work well, which, means, which includes taking time off. Start now. The good does not win out in the end if your life is cut short by chronic stress. If you think you may be living with depression or anxiety or insomnia or some other stress-related illness, treat it like the brain health problem that it is. Find a therapist or tell your regular doctor. Remember that to, str to struggle does not disqualify you from being a, a resilient person or a good person, and neither does sometimes feeling like an anti-hero. If, however, you are leaning on substances to cope, try leaning on people instead. They are better for you. So are yoga and meditation, but these are not the only ways to reduce your stress. Clear your mind of painful thoughts and feelings by becoming absorbed in what feels natural to you. Reading, podcasts, biking, knitting, running, nature, movies, mental distancing is a power all of them. And physical distancing is just fine too. Some hurtful relationships may improve with time, but many will not. If it would be helpful to you to make amends with someone who has hurt you, give it a try. If it will only bring you more heartbreak, you have permission to stay away. Avoid relatives, partners, or bosses who are re-traumatizing. It is wise to protect yourself from dangerous people, but be sure your armor is not too tight to let love in. Help the good people in your life have more of a presence than the bad. Write out a list of those you feel grateful for, and maybe some heartfelt letters too. Put pictures and reminders of those who have mattered out where you can see them every day. Fight for their importance in your life and in your brain, just as maybe they once fought for yours. Make something of your present so your past does not loom so large, and as you go along, resist the temptation to compare your hardships or triumphs to, the, to those of others. We all have different definitions of success and adversity, and of ordinary and moral too. Find people to love and to love you back, and remember they may come from all backgrounds. There is no need to pick sides in life or to restrict yourself to those who have suffered as you have. A diversity of perspectives enriches us all. Nor is it fair to assume that those who have had average expectable upbringings are better suited for living than you are. This simply is not so. If you have children, be the parent you wish you had. Create the home you always wanted. Yet resist the impulse to protect your children from every hurt, as well as the urge to toughen them up. Life will send its slings and arrows, and when it does, listen, validate, name, empathize, problem solve, love. You know what to do, all the things you may wish someone had done for you. And as often as you can, be good to yourself and to those you encounter. It may not be true that everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle, but as we know by now, a great many.